Good morning, my sweet bumblebees. I'm Gigi Ma Mel, and this is Living It Gigi Ma Style. Welcome to Toddler Tuesday. Now, guys, I don't know who hosts Toddler Tuesday. So, if you know, please leave a, leave a comment so that next time I do this, I will remember and um, shout them out. Who you are looking at right now are my Alveda walking doll toddlers. Now, you might think, well, they don't look like Alveda walking dolls. Well, there's a reason. Both of them have been modified quite a bit. First, we have Matt and Joe. Now, you notice that the head is a little different. That's because Mather and Joe's head is from a Toy City doll that I did a lot of ma um, modification on. First, he has teeth that are poly clay that I put in his mouth. He also has been rooted with not only my hair, but my husband's hair. He's had a face up with freckles and eyebrows and all of that. So, Matherin has got quite a bit going on. He has been put on an Alveda, or Alveda walking doll body that has also been modified. I put ball joints in his elbows. Are you ready for this? Now, it may look a little funny, to be honest, but it works just like a regular ball joint. Let me see if I can get a sleeve up here. Hang on just a sec. There it goes. All right. Oh, stand up, Maddie. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. There you go. Now, it looks like that's why he has to wear long sleeves. But what I did is I cut the arm in half, rounded out the sides, took a rubber ball and poked a hole, drilled a hole through it and put a bolt on it so that his arm moves. It's a ball joint. I got to tighten the. I haven't really been doing much with these guys in a little bit now, so um, things are kind of loose and I need to clean them up a little bit. They stand next to my cradle with Tamel in it. But there we go. He has a ball joint and he also has one in the other arm. His legs are weighted with. Um, sand. Now, before anybody comes at me for his, you know, using sand, these are my dolls, and they will not be leaving my collection. So, um, I used fresh, brand new aquarium sand to weight their legs so that they can stand. And then they also have one other modification. And that is their neck. I can move his head any which way I want it to go. And that's because what I did is I um, cut a bigger hole in the, the um, head. And I drilled a hole across the neck joint and put a dowel in it. So that basically his head sets on a dowel. Oops, I'm a little too close. It's hard to do this with one hand, guys. Okay, there is a dowel that runs across his neck that his head can move around on. Okay, so this is Nafrin. And he has a twin sister, Madison. I originally was not going to get have a second one, but I boo-booed. 
and ordered two Alita dolls by accident. Um, I, I just wanted the body off of it. But uh, what happened was I thought I had uh, one of the orders had been canceled and it turned out it hadn't been. So I ended up with two Alita dolls. So I decided to turn one into Matherin's twin. Just so that you guys know this, Matherin started out as a baby, much like Tamal. He was a little bigger than Tamal. And I kept changing, swapping his head to bigger bodies. So actually, Matherin has grown up on YouTube. It, it was really kind of cool. If you go back and you watch some of my uh, earlier videos, you will see him grow up throughout those videos. Now, Madison here has had a, a little bit of modification as well. Well, about the same, except that her head is the original um, Alita doll. Um, she's had a haircut. Her, I had at one time dyed her hair red. Unfortunately, it has faded. It does need to be done again, but I just haven't got around to it. She has had um, a face up. I did glue her eyes open. She had the blinking eyes, and I do not like that. So her eyes have been glued open, and she looks absolutely adorable. Her legs have been weighted as well, and she also has the um, ball-jointed elbows. Now, I had thought at one point to ball joint their knees, but then they wouldn't stand up as nice. So I decided against that. So, meet Matherin Joe and Madison Ann. Now, if you guys have any questions of what I did to them, leave the comments below and I'll be happy to answer whatever I can. I do show these guys on occasion in some videos. It has been a little while since I started doing the Blythe Dolls and the Barbie dramas. They haven't been on as much as everybody else, but we'll have to remedy that, won't we? From Madison, Matherin and Madison and me, Gigi Mamel, be happy, be safe. Be sensible and do your very, very best to behave. We love you all and we will see you again soon. Bye.